Hi everyone, I'm back uh, to share with you this custom order. Um, my customer chose this particular uh, paper for her cover uh, and uh, asked for some kind of decorative tag on the front uh, and then just decorated in my usual style. So I have to say this did actually stump me a little bit uh, because this paper is a little bit brighter and a little bit more, I, I don't know if modern is the right um, word, but I'm going to say modern. Um, so it's not my typical style. So I finally found this envelope. Uh, it's a vintage envelope from uh, the Netherlands, I believe. Uh, and it's the perfect color to match the turquoise and the blue in, in this um, cover paper. Uh, so then um, I've left it open on the side so she can tuck something in there if she'd like to. And then this is just a fussy cut uh, digital print. Uh, and then I've added um, a book plate. Um, and you can see here that I've done a little bit of um, uh, distressing on it, uh, painted it and then I've just added a little um, bit of ledger paper and I've stamped notes on it. Um, I've done some sewing in this uh, journal. I've sewn around the cover. So let me take you inside. It's just um, closed just with a little bit of uh, coffee dyed seam binding as well. Uh, so on the front and back covers, I have added uh, this pattern paper uh, and it is sewn around as well. Uh, and then I've just added my usual papers uh, and trims and so on. Um, I love the way the side of this is looking. Um, I'm really pleased with how this has turned out and I hope she likes it as well. So lots of gathered trims. Uh, I've added uh, just a couple of journaling cards. I've made this tag, added a little bit of um, doily uh, and a button there. Added some trim. And then I've made one of my journaling cards uh, and uh, it's open on the back for her to journal on. I've added one of my uh, vintage hanky printables here uh, and I printed that on vellum paper. And a tab and a button. And uh, this tag uh, opens for extra journaling space. And then I've just added a little pocket with a couple of extra journaling spots there and a label here. Uh, on this side, I've added uh, one of my envelopes um, that I've just sewn around and then added some fabric here. And that's some um, vintage uh, seam binding uh, and then a tag. And I have painted a Tim Holtz uh, clip and I've um, uh, distressed it like I did the book plate on the front. A little bit of craft paper here with some uh, seam binding. And this is vintage, um, I guess it's, um, I don't even know what type of paper it is actually. It's got months and it's got uh, dates on it. So I guess it's some kind of calendar paper. Um, so I've added that. Uh, again, vintage paper, writing paper here with a little bit of trim and a glassine bag. And I've just added a printable on this side. I don't have anything in it. Uh, and then I've added another printable here. A little bit of note paper here. Um, this was a, a printable uh, card as well. And I thought it went really nicely with this, all the colors throughout. This is some vintage ledger paper. And I've been getting my vintage papers. This is vintage as well. I've been getting those from um, Trina at Feed the Birdies. Um, she has a great selection. So you can check her out on Etsy. Um, and she does a lot of sales uh, through her Instagram account as well. A uh, little bit of trim here. Uh, in the center here, I've just sewn around um, these um, vellum pockets and then I've added a little bit of trim and I've made a tag and this is um, a printable vintage linen uh, that I've just reduced in size. thought it could be used as a label and this is a French 
uh, flash card and then this is just a price tag that I had and I've just stamped uh, my note stamp on that this side an another um, printable uh, vintage linen a and these print these vi vintage linens are from uh, little bindy uh, Johanna Kloff's uh, Etsy shop she has lots of those and then this is just a, um, a vintage uh, looks like an accounting card and another vintage um, linen printable from Johanna Clough. Um, some more um, gathered uh, trim there. I've just clipped on uh, just a, a die cut and a couple of um, guest checks here and they can be used throughout. This journal is very similar to, uh, I think it was the last video I showed, I did two hardcover um, journals using Maggie Holmes' Willow Lane collection and that's what this is inspired by. Although this is a little bit more vintage than those journals were. Um, on the other half of the glassine bag here uh, I have one of my vintage hanky printables and then I've attached um, this window envelope that I had and then I've got this little journaling card inside. On the other side, that's another of my vintage um, hanky printables from my shop, and I will link that below. This is the other part of that blue uh, writing paper, and I've added uh, a fabric pocket and some trim, and then I've just got this uh, ledger um, index card that I've added for more journaling space. And tabs with some buttons. The other part of that um, or the other half of that craft paper. And I've added uh, a glassine bag here. I've got uh, a tag and then I've added some ephemera here to make a pocket at the bottom. And I've got another um, vintage um, linen uh, reduced in size and then just a couple of other tags to go in there. And on this side, another uh, vintage linen another tab there and in this pocket I have uh, made a vellum bag and then I've just added uh, a tag for some journaling space and then I've made an envelope here uh, just with a tag on the front and the last page I've got uh, this coat check tag and I've got this vintage uh, name and address um, card for some journaling space uh, and then in this little envelope or, or bag I've just got a variety of different labels and little journaling spots um, that she can add uh, throughout her journal. So that is this uh, custom order. Uh, and uh, I appreciate you watching. I do have a couple of other journal collections that I'm working on uh, and I hope to have those done and ready for you to have a look at uh, over the next couple of weeks. Thanks.